Hello everyone, how you guys doing? It's your boy brother Kwame and I'm coming back at you guys with another topic and I know it's been a while, it's been almost a month since I made a video but I only make videos when the Lord God, I only make videos when the Lord God, you know, leads me to do so and this topic will be today that God needs you to stand in the gap for your family. That's right. The Lord God needs you to stand in the gap for your family. The Lord God needs you to stand in the gap for your family and pray for your family. God needs you to be righteous and stand in the gap for your family. He wants you to be righteous and stand in the gap for your family and pray for your family so your prayers will be heard. This message is for folks that's one that's wondering why many people are dying spiritually. That's right. This message is for the people that, you know, that's wondering why folks that's dying around them spiritually, their family members are turning to, you know, other religions. They're turning to the ancient Egypt doctrine they're turning to the 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 nation of islam doctrine they turn in you know they they turn into you know catholics they turn in to jehovah witnesses they turn it into hebrew israelites you know and even in christianity itself you know they're dying spiritually they're dead spiritually See, the Lord God hates sin, and the Lord God needs somebody that's righteous to stand in the gap for these people. He needs somebody to pray for the souls. That's right. The Lord God needs for somebody righteous to stand in the gap to pray for the souls. He needs a righteous body to use. He needs a body to dwell in. He needs a body to manifest himself in. To intercede for the family. And a lot of you folks just literally have family members that's just, you know, dying spiritually. Some of you people have a curse on your family. That's right. Some of you people have curses in your family. Y'all don't even know it. And y'all family just dying spiritually. And that's because you guys need, you family members need somebody holy and righteous to stand in the gap for you. Better yet, folks need to get their acts together and live in holy and righteousness and intercede and stand in the gap for your family. That's right. That's exactly what the Lord God wants. His will will be done. See, the Lord God, he will destroy wicked. And folks always walking around talking about God is all love. He loves you, girl, no matter what. But what kind of love is it, people? What kind of love does the Lord God really represent? Does he represent the earthly love? No. That's the love from the devil. You don't know the Lord God that I know. You don't know the most high God, the same God that I serve, if you think that he's that earthly love. You don't know the great I am I am. Because the great I am I am, he don't deal with that kind of love. The Lord God said it ain't no compromising, people. The Lord God doesn't compromise with the things of the devil. Y'all got the Lord God messed up. Y'all got the Lord God messed up because y'all not reading y'all Bibles. Y'all not reading y'all Bibles. Because I'm about to show you that the Lord God will destroy the wicked. Go with me to the book of Psalms. Go with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 20. Go with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 20. And it says, The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he what? destroyed the lord god saying that he would keep the souls that preserved him he basically let you know that he would keep the ones that love him which is the righteous souls but the souls that is wicked he said that he would destroy them so he let you know off top that he will destroy the wicked souls and there's many of you guys 
family, relatives, that you know that's in wickedness. And some of you people that's watching this video, you in wickedness yourself. You need, to, you need to repent and live through the Lord God. Start living through the Lord God. Go live right. See, the thing is, folks cannot be saved if they don't have somebody standing in the gap. Somebody righteous standing in the gap for them. Or unless you give your life over to the Lord God, you folks need to repent and give your life over to the Lord God. Y'all need to repent and give y'all life over to the Lord God so you folks can stand in the gap for the people that surrounded around you. Because there's people dying spiritually around you. Y'all got to stand in the gap for them so their souls will be preserved. And so the Lord God will hear your prayers and that will save them and give them more time. This is the only way to give them souls some more time. God needs somebody to stand in the gap. God needs somebody to stand in the gap that is holy. Anybody just can't stand in the gap because you can't be full of sin and standing in the gap for somebody. Because all you doing is cursing that person and cursing yourself. You have to be holy and living up right with the Lord God. God want to use you to stand in the gap and pray for these souls, folks. But you must clean yourself up and get holy. You got to clean yourself up and get holy and live through the Lord God. Because the Lord God, he hates sin. And we all know now that God will destroy sins. He said that in the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 20. He said that he will destroy the wicked and he will keep the righteous, folks. We need somebody to stand in the gap. The Lord God needs somebody to stand in the gap. He needs somebody to stand in the gap for your family. Now go with me to the book. Of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 through 31. Because I'm about to prove to you that the Lord God is looking for somebody to stand in the gap. Because he was looking for somebody to stand in the gap for Jerusalem and Samaria. That's right. The Lord God, he was looking for somebody to stand in the gap for Jerusalem and Samaria. Back in the days of Ezekiel. Go with me to the book of Ezekiel chapter 30. Go with me to the book of Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30 through 31 now. And it says, And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Therefore have I poured out mine indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Now we know that the Lord God seek for people to stand in the gap and pray. And he had nobody to stand in the gap. He, he said that I recompense upon their heads. He's going to destroy the land. And this was back in the days of Ezekiel when he was talking about the two sisters and the, and the Jerusalem of Samaria. And the thing is, the Lord God, he is the same God back in the days of Ezekiel that he is today. He seeks for somebody to stand in the gap for your family. That's right. He's seeking for somebody to stand in the gap for your family. So he... So he won't destroy all that. God is seeking for somebody to stand in the gap for your family before he destroys them for their wickedness, people. And I just showed y'all in the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 20, that he will destroy the wickedness. God will destroy the wicked. And I just showed y'all in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 30, 30 and 31. That he is looking for somebody to stand in the gap, people. He looking for somebody to stand in the gap. That is righteousness. Y'all got to wake up. Y'all can't be living in ignorance, entertaining wickedness and following wickedness because wickedness leads to death. 
And a lot of you people, y'all run. Y'all run from y'all calling. God has called many of you to stand in the gap for your family members. Y'all just seen that in Ezekiel that God destroyed these people for their wickedness. He will destroy more people for their wickedness. Because the Lord God hates wickedness. He said that. He said that he will destroy the wicked. And he is seeking for somebody to stand in the gap. The Lord God wants somebody to stand in the gap. Get y'all life together. Be holy for the Lord God. Give it up. You guys will stand in the gap for all these wicked sin and lust of the body. Game banging for your hood. But you won't stand in the gap for your family. You will not stand in the gap for your family and intercede and live righteousness. So the Lord God will hear your prayers so you can stand in the gap. So he can, so he won't destroy the wicked in your family. Or so he won't destroy the people in your family for being wicked. Y'all won't do that. So he will preserve your family members. God needs somebody to stand in the gap. This is real. And I'm about to show you guys about Moses. Because Moses stood in the gap. And we about to read about how Moses stood in the gap for the Israelite folks. Go with me to the book of Exodus chapter 32 verse 11 through 13. Go with me to the book of um, Exodus. Go with me to the book of Exodus chapter 32 verse 11 through 13. Because Moses stood in the gap for the Israelites. And it says, And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why doeth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say for mischief? Did he bring them out? to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from, the, turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self and saidest unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed and they shall inherit it forever. And I'm going to read verse 14 too and it says, And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. Moses stood in the gap. Moses prayed to the Lord. That was a prayer. Because the Lord God was getting ready to destroy the Israelites in the, in the wilderness for they, for they wickedness they was doing. And Moses prayed to the Lord God and asked the Lord God to give them more time basically. Because in verse 14 it says, and the Lord God repented. He turned from his ways. Which means he gave them a chance. And the Lord God need for you people today to stand in the gap for your family as I speak right now. He needs you to get your life in order. He needs you to be the Moses of your family. Get it righteous with the Lord God. Send up prayers, intercede for your family. Stop letting your family die in ignorance around you. Stand in the gap. Be holy. That's right. Be holy for the Lord God so your family will be safe. And David, he stood in the gap. We're going to read about David. That's another one. Go with me to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 45 and 46. Go with me to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter, four, chapter 17, verse 45 and verse 46. Because David was another brother that stood in the gap, folks. That's right. David was another brother that stood in the gap, folks. Go with me to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 45 and 46. And it says, Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, 
the God of the armies of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Now David was a brother. He was he was a youth. David was a youth and he stood in the gap. David was a little boy at this time. And he stood in the gap. He was a little youth. And, uh, and uh, um, the king, King Saul, a grown man, he was scared to go up against the Philistines, Goliath. He was scared to go up against them. And little David, he stood in the gap for the Israelites. David said, this day I defeat you in the name of God. David said that the Lord God would deliver you in my hand. He prayed to the Lord God. David had faith. David stood in the gap for the Israelites because them, them things, them, the Goliath, them things was big. They were giants. And David was a little bitty boy. And they was getting ready to go in. They were about to go in on the Israelites, and King Saul was scared to go to he was scared to go to war with the um with them giants. And little King David was the only one with faith and believed in the Lord God. He stood in the gap, and the Lord God needs you guys to stand in the gap for your family. The Lord God needs a righteous body right now. David was righteous. Moses was righteous. They were men of God. They was living by his word and his commandments. The Lord God is looking for a body to use. The Lord God is looking for a body to use to live by his commandments, people, and stand in the gap for their families and the rest of the souls in this world, too. The Lord God needs somebody to stand in the gap for Y'all family members. We won't be ignorant no more walking around wondering why folks dying around us, turning to all these other religions. God needs you to stand in the gap for your family and get righteous and pray for your family. We, we, we won't be ignorant no more after this walking around talking about why folks wondering why folks dying around us. We won't be ignorant of this stuff no more wondering why folks dying spiritually around us. The Lord God wants you to live right, stand in the gap, and live righteous for your family. It's your boy, brother Kwame. Kids, don't do drugs, and I'm out.